Hi, this is I the Unrealist with a story about a man who finds himself at the door of heaven after he dies even though he never believed in God. This is the story of what happens next when a man who never believed in God finds himself at the door of the heaven. This podcast is my personal channel to share my thoughts and stories. Please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section or my email if you have anything to say. Thanks. Hi all. I am happy to announce that you are all standing in front of gate to heaven. You are some of the chosen beings on earth who have lived their lives according to God's way, and God would like to welcome you in his house for the rest of eternity. You my fellow humans have spent your whole life helping others, doing what God's will is. and faithfully trusting him to take you on the right path you believed in his way and had faith in him in your worst situations and remembered him when you were at the top of life you never forgot him you always prayed to him no matter what the day and now it is god's turn to complete his part of the deal and welcome you to the ultimate home of soul the heaven where you can spend the rest of eternity with the best of the souls and live in the best possible way with God by your side i welcome you all i was giving my regular speech to the new batch of dead people as usual when a man raised his hand and shouted but i don't believe in god lived my whole life like that there must be some mistake with me or your like oh my dear child there is no mistake in god's home you are at the right place if you wait aside for a bit until your fellow brothers and sisters start their journey to the new phase i will come back to you and make sure you are ready for the way ahead do not worry you are in god's home now here everything is right the way it should be i completed my speech explained about life beyond and made others pass through the gate to heaven the man was patiently waiting for me he was served well as it should be Before going to him, I checked his history through the earth across multiple lives. In his early lives, he was an animal as all. But in one of his lives, when he was just going around doing his business, he went out of the way and helped another being and saved it. That is when he was transformed into a being with the ability to sense and understand the beauty of life around him, beyond him and his needs. Well for some time he used it like any other being to enjoy and exploit all he could but then he started to realize the bigger things started connecting the dots about nature and its ways pretty soon he became well versed about life and how to use it as a gift it was most of the beings give up or are satisfied at this stage they are overwhelmed and make it their home The sheer vastness and beauty of the structure of life takes over them and they never let it go. There are very few who can look beyond the perks of being able to understand life and extend their hands to others to reach where they are and hold on to the true principle of life, growth and being able to live with full awareness and freedom. They think that it is true heaven. No, it is not. the removal of the need for some external stimulus to be in your best form to let the joy and peace come from you to generate it from within without any help from anywhere to remove the need of external freedom and devices to be what you are is true heaven true form of life to sustain oneself it does not need anything no followers no kingdom no god it is sufficient on its own to understand and embody that is what it takes he has done it but for that he had gone through all all the great tales written in history were about this very soul at first he was a true worshipper he always loved god and kept god nearest to him he helped all and self he spread love wherever he went he tried to make peace with all with one belief that god is with him always watching him looking after him when nothing is there in the darkest of the days and hardest of the situations he always trusted god 
and yet when the day was his he was humble enough to give all the credit to god and did everything that god would have wished and then he took birth as his latest self where he no longer needed god's help and yet he devoted himself to god only until recently when it was the day of last test and it is because that he passed that test he was standing in front of the heaven the true home of every soul he has reached the destination and yet he does not know no worries he has been a faithful follower of god he just needs to be reminded of god's presence and that will be all for today at least that's what i thought reading his past i was confident enough that he would understand by telling him the truth so i did not read why he stopped believing in god i went to him he was enjoying his tea with the view of milky way in front of him he was pretty impressed i could see the joy on his face he was delighted excited yet he was able to properly see what was in front of him and understand it in a proper way he is truly a god's soul a small piece of life in this vast universe observing such a great miracle of life at this stage is a great experience for any being no matter what power or knowledge they have this view builds them all i also stood there for a while enjoying the view this is a five part series subscribe to my channel and get updates about next parts thanks thanks for listening to this tale i hope you enjoyed it and want to know what happens next also i know that there must be something you want me to improve or change please let me know about it share your thoughts about the story in comments or you can always reach me on instagram or email